So I wanted to make a quick little video on how I water propagated my Diefenbachia or dumb cane plant. It's a really beautiful plant and I've had it for about six years now. Mine basically looks like a tree because I've made sure to take care of it and keep the stalk straight as it's been growing. Diefenbachia is just such a beautiful plant. The variegation and the pattern on the leaves is so beautiful to look at. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video is because when I wanted to water propagate, I couldn't find that much information on water propagation, but I did find a lot of info on soil propagating. So I live in Canada in a really cold climate, so this took me a lot longer than if you were to be living in a warmer climate, and that's sort of what the tips in this video are going to be on. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're wearing gloves because the sap from this plant is very irritating and my rash lasted about a couple hours and it was not fun. Secondly, make sure that you've disinfected your knife and made it really sharp in order to make the cuts to prevent infection. I basically cut from here and here, making sure to include at least two nodes in the cutting. Those are basically where the roots are going to be coming out from. And you should have a cutting about this size. And then you can go ahead and put it in water. Because I'm in a cold climate, I put mine in, in an east-facing window where it would get plenty of morning light and then indirect light throughout the rest of the day. If I was in a warmer climate, I would have put it in a southern-facing window so that it gets sun all day. But because I'm not, it did take a lot longer to grow. It took me about two months to see any root growth and about five months to see the first leaf forming. And this is basically the result that I have now. These are the roots that I've got on most of them and some of them have leaves on them. A lot of them did get leaves and not roots, so that's one of the issues that I faced. I find that you just have to keep leaving them in there and w be a little more patient and eventually they will take root. Another one of the issues that I had was rot, so I noticed that the bottom of a lot of the cuttings would continuously get rot, so I would take a sterilized knife and cut off the bottom three millimeters or four millimeters to make sure the root the rot does not travel upwards now this did set back the process a lot but it was worth it in the end because i got these big beautiful leaves out of it the one of the issues i faced was that the water would get very dirty very quickly so i had to change it often at least once a day another one of the issues that you might want to look out for is not putting your cuttings in the water right side up and this did happen to one of my cuttings and although it did take root this is very unlikely and I highly recommend when you're making your cuttings to make sure you know which one which end goes in the water and which end doesn't because I will have issues putting this in the soil eventually because it might not take in the soil because it's upside down and that's basically it those are the issues that I went into most people say to soil propagate Diefenbachia, but I chose to water propagate it because soil propagation doesn't work that well for me, and I did get results. It just took a very long time, especially because I'm in a colder climate, and I'm pretty sure you can definitely root it in water as well. Thank you so much for watching.